Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've got one today. This question comes up all the time. People were asking, how do you overlap and move modules and have sort of modules overlap different sections and overlap each other? Really easy to do. We're going to do this with spacing, uh, mainly margin, and it's a really useful feature to know. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder so we can build on the front end today. And let's go down and what I'll do is I'll get rid of these three at the top and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside I've got a row with three columns and I've got three little generic call to action modules in there. Okay, the first thing we'll do is we'll scoot this up so it's overlapping the little section above there. So we'll go into the row to do this. There's a little green tab right there. I'm going to go over to design. I'm going to go down to spacing. And here we've got margin. And what I'm going to do to scoot these up over here is use some negative margin. So that's probably about 100 picks. Let's say negative 130. You can either type it in or you can just scoot down to a negative and fill it out, however you like to do it. As you can see, that's now scooted that over the top of this section and we've got them covering the little section above also. Really easy. Now if you do have a problem, it's unlikely with sections above, if you do have a problem that when you move these up they're moving underneath the section or row that's above them, you can adjust that with what they call the Z index. And if we go over to the advanced and down position to position here, roll down a bit, here you've got your Z or Z index. And that dictates what elements lie on top of each other. For instance, if you slide this up and it's going under this white section here or white row, whatever you're in, give this white row a section of say, a Z index of say 10, and give this one a higher number, say 20, or any higher number and this one will appear on top of the one above so if you have display problems with that fix it with a bit of Z index great well that was very easy to do what if we actually want to do these individual modules and sort of scoot them together and perhaps have them overlapping as well well that's simple we'll get out of our row here we'll go into each individual module in fact I'm going to go back into the row because what I'm going to do is bring these closer together so they're overlapping to make it easier for myself I'm going to take away any guttering from the row which is the space to the top bottom left and right of these little modules here so let's go back into the row the green tab this time I'm going to go to design and I'm going to go to sizing I'm going to say use custom gutter width the more you take it down to the left the less gutter they will be the closer they'll be I'm going to take it all the way down till they're touching just like that that's going to make them a little easier to overlap great well now we can go into the individual modules themselves and put them where we actually want them so let's go in this first one here dark tab for the module I'm going to click on it go inside it again I'm going to go over to design and we're going to use negative margin again to scoot this one I want to scoot this one across over here and we'll scoot this one across over here. You could actually do this with transform translate, but this is the easier way to do it. So let's go down to our spacing again. Here's our margin. What I want to do is get the right margin and give it a negative value so it pulls it up over here. So here's our right margin. Let's give it a negative value. Let's maybe try negative 30. Great, well that scooted that up over there nicely. But what we've got to do if we want it to remain the same width is give it the opposite amount of positive margin on the right. This is only for width, not height. So let's give it a positive 30 on that side. And there we have it, it's scooted over over there. And let's perhaps scoot this one down a little bit. So on the top, I'm just gonna give it perhaps positive 30. And we've got that one scooted over there. Again, if you want to align them on top of each other, go down to position and you can up the Z index of the ones you want in front. 
Great, well, I'm happy with where that one is. Let's save our changes for this one. But let's perhaps scoot this one down a little bit more. And again, we'll use a little bit of negative margin and a bit of positive margin to scoot it down. Perhaps we'll scoot it down a little bit more than the other one over there. So again, let's go into the module itself. Going to go to our design once more, down to spacing. This time I'm going to push it down perhaps a little bit more. Let's push it down 50. But I also want to drag it on top of this one to the left of it there by about 30 picks, similar amount as we got here. So this time on the left margin, I'm going to give it negative 30. I just hit the little arrow to take it down to negative 1. I'm filling it out to negative 30. As you can see, that's pulled that one over the top of that one. But it's also widened it. So what we've got to do again is simply add 30 pixels margin on that side and they'll remain the same size if that's what you want, obviously. So there's a few ways of positioning your modules and you can get some really interesting results. And don't forget, if you look at this on a tablet and mobile, it might not work. So if you go into tablet mode, perhaps, roll on down. Yeah, you can adjust the padding the way you want it here. So perhaps on tablet mode, this one we want to bring up a little bit. So let's go to tablet mode and this is common to all Divi modules if you roll over the dark writing you'll see some little icons appear if there's a little mobile phone type icon as there is in this case we can go into it and for the tablet version we're on this purple one at the moment all I really want to do is scoot it up by perhaps 50 pixels or something like that I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna just type in negative 50 it'll put in the pics for me that may be a bit too much let's see negative 30 There we go. And of course you can realign them left, right, however you want there. Let's have a look on mobile. Yeah, I think on the mobile version, I'll take away any negative margin and we'll have them as a regular. So we can do that by simply putting in a zero, a zero and a zero. So we've got those two regular. Now I just need to go into my top one here. and do exactly the same thing down to spacing and put zeros in wherever you want. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm sure you get the idea. Okay, well, let's get rid of that. We'll go back to our desktop mode. What else do you need to know about this? Not much really. I think perhaps if we were to scoot this row down, let's go back into this row and we'll scoot it down over the top of these images here and just check what the Z index is going to do for that. So I've gone back into the row. We'll go into spacing. There's a 130. Let's put that on the bottom so it'll drag it downwards. So I'm going to cut it, control X, and I'm going to paste it in the bottom, control V. And as you can see, that's pushed it down over the top of our other section here, which is fine. And there we have it. So there's various different ways of spacing and positioning your elements using negative margin. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Let's just save this, make sure it's gonna look right on the front end. We'll save our changes and let's exit the Visual Builder. And there we go, we've got our little elements there. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget if you have any questions drop them down below and I'll do my best to answer them or make a video for you. Once again this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.